You're welcome to our last episode where we have been looking at the CUBS ICT resource paper, paper one, where we have answered from item one, item two, item three, item four, and today let's look at item five. A community-based health organization is applying for a, for a grant to fund a new health initiative. They need to access an online application form, fill it with their project details, and submit it before the deadline. So here is the main grant application form. You can see it, name, business name, address, title, email, phone number, etc. Then you tick established business, how many years, and startup or preventure. So here you put the amount that is needed and all that. So the project coordinator lacks the ICT skills to download, complete, and upload the form. And the task, the project coordinator approaches you for assistance. Provide a write-up outlining the necessary steps and ICT tools to be used to complete and submit the online application form successfully. So I want us to briefly go through this number and how best we can respond to this one. So straight away, let's look at how best we can approach it. We come to our item five. And this scenario, this is how we should approach it. So we start by writing our title, item five, where we are completing and submitting the online forms. So we give a focused introduction. Securing funding through grants is often crucial for community-based organization looking to implement new initiatives. A community-based health organization is in the process of applying for a grant to support a, health, a new health project, but the project coordinator lacks the ICT skills to complete and submit the required online application form. In the competitive environment for grant applications, accuracy and timeless are key. Now, let's see. If you give a focused introduction, you get one mark. And now you need to have steps, like the way we did for item Item four, you also give your steps, you follow them, and then we look at the logical flow of steps and the conclusion. So item four, item five, all carry eight marks. Eight marks for item four, eight marks for item five. Then from item one to item three, each of those carry 11 marks meaning that if the runner has attempted three numbers, that is out of 30, but then converted to 50. So let's look at the steps. One, we are looking at download the form. So use a computer connected to the internet to access the website where the form is stored. Then open a web browser, e.g. Google Chrome, Firefox, and navigate the relevant web page. Locate the form and download it to your computer. These are the steps flowing very well. Fill the form. We can use a PDF editor, e.g. Adobe Acrobat, Foxit Reader, or word processing software to fill the required information and ensure that all fields are accurately completed. Then note that, save the completed form. So when saving, save the filled form with a clear and a descriptive file name using built-in save functions in PDF editors or Microsoft Word processing. Then scan supporting documents. If supporting documents, e.g. project details, letter of recommendations are in physical form, use a scanner or a scanning app to convert them into digital form such as PDF. Then attach and upload files. Log into the online portal using the required credentials. Attach the completed form and scan the documents by selecting attach files and navigating to where the files are stored on the computer. Then from there, submit the application. 
review all the information for accuracy before submitting click on the submit button to send the application ensure to receive and save a confirmation email or reference number then from here we give a focused conclusion following the provided steps will enable the project coordinator to submit the grant application accurately and on time enhancing the organization's prospects for securing crucial funding so this we give it one mark the conclusion then the body we are going to give it four marks and then the logical flow of steps we give it also two marks and in total this one takes also eight marks so our number will also carry eight marks so now that we marked item five also out of eight we are done so if you look at item five it is also taken from the topics topic uh, three four five six seven nine ten twelve from the syllabus and when we are marking element of construct three these are the same things we are looking at outlining the relevant steps identifying the ict tools needed explaining how they are applied and the logical flow of steps it takes also eight marks so meaning that meaning that if you have done for example item one you have done item one and you scored let's say uh eight out of eleven then you did item two you scored for example uh you also scored maybe nine out of eleven then you did item let's say item four and you scored eight out of eight so when we get when we get 11 we add 11 and 8 that is 30 so meaning that one uh, has scored x out of 30 so we can we can add let's say 8 we get 8 plus 9 plus 8 that means that you have scored 25 out of 30 so we shall get our 25 out of 30 times 50 so when you get 25 out of 30 times 50 you should be able to get at least 42 approximately 42 out of 50 then paper one is also converted 50 i mean paper one converted 50 and paper two converted to 50 and then two are added to 100 percent so i think this one gives you a picture that item one item two and item three all are marked out of 11 each of those numbers then item four and item five are marked out of eight thank you for watching please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel share these materials to your colleagues jabris